So this is our model of the layers of the tooth. When we look at the different regions, what we have exposed when we look at our teeth is the crown of the tooth. This region here is the neck. And then as we follow down, we have the roots. So crown, neck, and then the roots of the tooth. When we look at the layers of what we see in this model, there's the enamel, the dentin, and then the pulp, or the pulp cavity. If you'll notice, inside this pulp cavity, we have a capillary network. So if we go all the way down here, you'll see the arteries, the veins, and the nerve supply that runs up into this pulp cavity. So the feeder line comes all the way up the root canal, and it enters in through something called the apical foramen. So this is the base of the tooth, the flattened end. The pointed ends would be the apex, hence apical foramen. This is the gingiva. Gingiva is just a fancy way of saying our gums. Inside here, we have the cementum, and then lateral to that, we have the periodontal ligaments that help hold this in place. Out here would be the bone of the alveolus. This could be in the maxilla or in the mandible, depending on if you're looking at the top set of teeth or the bottom set of teeth. 